Hello, I'm not Chuck, and here is something you may have never seen before. No, I don't mean the Raspberry Pi Pico H. I mean the development board that is holding the Pico. I call it the RPi Pico Pack, and it's my PCB design. It provides connection points for all of the Pico's IOs. In addition, there is a DC power input jack, a buck power converter, LED indicators for both the 5 volt and 3.3 volt buses, and a push button to reset the Pico. I'm giving one away, complete with the Pico H already loaded with MicroPython. Yep, you heard me right. I will send an RPi Pico pack with a Pico H completely free, including shipping, to one of my viewers in the USA. I will tell you how it could be you if you watch till the end of this video. In 2020, Raspberry Pi Foundation came out with their very first microcontroller IC, the RP2040. About the same time, they introduced a platform for it that they call the Raspberry Pi Pico. I pre-ordered three of the boards, but by the time they came, I was involved in something else. I don't remember what, so I just stuck them on the shelf. Then in March of 2022, Bill at DroneBot Workshop came out with a video about building a development board for the Pico, and I got interested again. Bill stated that even though the Pico was much more capable than the Atmega processors on the Arduino Uno, he tended to reach for the Uno instead of the Pico most of the time. He postulated that that was probably because of the form factor of the UNO it was so handy to use. So he proposed a more usable development setup for the Pico. He built one that just made the IOs more accessible by using female DuPont headers soldered directly onto the Pico. And two more based on protoboards. One of those added a reset button and a power LED and the other also included a 5 volt power supply. He called his creations Pico Uno, a takeoff, I suppose, on the famous Arduino Uno. And of course, I love designing printed circuit boards, so I got the idea to create a PCB that incorporated Bill's electrical design, but was way more user friendly. The printed circuit boards were built by PCB Way and they are top quality FR4 boards, 1.6 millimeters thick. The silk screen printing is flawless and the masking is perfect. I couldn't be more pleased. And the price for 10 boards was only five US dollars plus sales tax and shipping. I'll put a link to PCB Way in the video description below. The RPi Pico Pack has four 20 pin female headers two to hold the Pico and two more to make all its IOs easily accessible. Each pin is functionally identified with an abbreviation silk screened right on the board. The small PCB assembly is a mini 360 buck power converter that is adjusted to output the 5 volts DC needed by the Pico. A Schottky diode protects the converter from damage when USB power is connected to the Pico. Both the 5 volt and the 3.3 volt power buses are equipped with filter capacitors, as well as LEDs to indicate when they are energized. The push button operates the Pico's reset function, and there is a coaxial power jack with a 2.1 millimeter center pin for connecting an external power source from 6 to 15 volts. Here is a size comparison of the RPi Pico Pack with the Arduino Uno. As you can see, the Uno is slightly bigger and still uses the full size Type B USB connector, while the Pico is outfitted with a micro B jack. Adding four small spacers to the bottom of the Pico Pack puts it at just the right height to use with a solderless breadboard or two. For those of you who prefer, during construction, male header pins can be soldered instead of the two outer 
20 pin female DuPont headers. The Pico Pack works just as well either way. There's a third way to use it, and it's my personal preference. I solder male header pins on the bottom of the Pico Pack and just plug it directly into the solderless breadboards. I believe that the RPI Pico Pack actually outshines the Arduino Uno in terms of convenience and usability. And don't forget that Pico runs circles around the Atmega 328. Sure, we all love the Uno, but it's time to step up to the Raspberry Pi Pico. No matter whether you choose the original Pico, the Pico H, or the Pico W, the RPI Pico Pack is a perfect fit. Which brings me back to the promise I made to you at the beginning of this video. A free Pico Pack, including a Pico H preloaded with MicroPython. Here's how to get it. Post a comment below this video telling me what you think of the Pico Pack. Your comment can be a compliment, that'd be nice, a criticism, that's fine, a suggestion, or a combination. Everyone who comments will have their username entered once into a pool for a random drawing that I will conduct at 10 a.m. Central Time on September 3rd, 2022. I'll post the winning username immediately under the Community tab on my YouTube homepage after the drawing. The winner should contact me at the email address included on the About section of my YouTube channel homepage and provide a ship to address in the USA. I will ship the RPI Pico Pack to the lucky winner at my expense by first class USPS mail. If you don't want to wait for the drawing, or if the drawing has already been held by the time you see this video, you can go to the PCBWay website and order your own boards. I have posted the schematic diagram and a parts list for the RPI Pico Pack there as well. You might get together with a group of friends and each build your very own Pico Pack. I will post a link in the video description below to the correct page on PCBWay.com. However, there is one other thing. Don't forget, I'm not Chuck.